Okay, Rina, I'd like to tell, I'd like you to tell me about getting your first tattoo. When I got my first tattoo, I was 22 years old, and it was supposed to be a very small, maybe one or two hour piece, and they, it's true what they say, they're very addictive, because it turned out to be a 12 hour tattoo on my back. And uh, I put a lot of thought into that first tattoo. It took me about three years to come up with the design. And um, the person that did it is still my tattoo artist today. Nobody else has ever tattooed my, my body. Wow. When you went in, were you expecting to be under the needle for 12 hours? Well, they do it in sessions. So I did the first part in a four hour session. And then you heal for about two to three weeks and then you go back for another three or four hours and I did mine in four three hour set or I did it in four sessions yeah. and give or take a few hours there but it, so what was the whole experience like getting a tattoo for the first time was it what you expected it to be or did it hurt more or it wouldn't have been as bad if somebody didn't tell me before I went that it's like a thousand burning scalpels going down your body and that was what was on my mind the wow, whole time. Wow, that sounds painful. It was painful <laughs> but, but after after it was done, yeah. the, like the whole time getting it done, all I could think about is why am I doing this? For this sure. is really stupid. I'm never doing this again but once you're finished, it's like okay, what can I do next? Wow. Uh, when you were getting it done, what was going through your mind? What am I doing? Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm never doing this again. And that's still the case. Even now, when I, I got my last one at Christmas, just last Christmas, and the whole time I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah. This is ridiculous. Do you worry at all that it's not going to turn out well or if there's a big mistake that you're stuck with something terrible forever? No. And that just goes with the trust I have in my tattoo artist. It's more about the pain. Because it hurts. Right. But you just kind of grind your teeth and and bear it. Right. So you got your first tattoo, and kind of what happens right after you get a tattoo? What kind of care do you need to take of it? Or You have to keep it clean, definitely. It's, it's a, like an open wound, really. Um, you have to keep it clean and not let it dry out, so you... Many different tattoo artists have different aftercare remedies, right. and I've tried quite a few of them. I've kind of been the guinea pig with my tattoo artist with right. a lot of aftercare remedies. Yeah. Um, some suggest Vaseline. Uh -huh. Some suggest simple Lubriderm lotion. Right. Some tattoo parlors have ointments they yeah. give you, and so basically you wash it with, with uh, soap that's not antibacterial. Yeah. That's just like plain soap. And uh, then you let it air dry for 10 minutes and then you moisturize it and wow. you keep washing and moisturizing it first week, maybe three or four times a day. Yeah. You're a brave woman. I think so. <laughs>